a Sunday morning and my dad and I are driving to our favorite Pandesal place called Pande Americana. So um, if you don't know what Pandesal is, it's basically uh, Filipino bread. It's like uh, fluffy or soft on the inside and then uh, a little crispy on the outside thrown in with some breadcrumbs on the outside as well. And uh, yeah, it's just the two of us, my dad and I, because my sister and my mom doesn't want to go with us. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys then. We're almost there, by the way. So like, so the one one of the reasons why we love going here is because of the the place. Like, there's trees around it, and then it's just free. The road's free, as you can see right there. Oh my gosh, it's just so good. But um, also, the Pandesal is like really good there. It's just good. Um, if you go early, a little early, um, oh my gosh, it's so shiny. So another really amazing thing about this place is that the design of the actual place is designed as an upside down house, like literally, it's an upside down house. I'll show you guys later when we're there. It's like, it's so cool. So we're now here and as I told you, um, look at the, <clears throat> look at the design, the exterior of the place. It's like an upside down house. Like you see that car right there, that red car? That's probably the garage of the house and then over there you see the roof window the roof window slash room window thingo. This is really cool. Thank you. So here is the place that's oh, the menu. So that's the drive through. They used to have So they redesigned this during the pandemic. Right? Um Let me go down so we can show properly. So this is actually a restaurant and a bread shop. So this is this is the entrance of of the restaurant but it's currently closed because of the pandemic so they redesigned it so they changed this used to be a parking lot and then re they redesigned it to become a drive through so that customers will just drive through and buy the bread <laughs> Thank you. And my change. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so unfortunately they only had four pieces of, no, three pieces, three pieces of the normal pandesal size, normal sized pandesal, um, but they also have a big, a one ginormous pandesal cut into tiny slices, which is this one right here, and um, we also ordered some insaimada. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, so back to the Pandesal. They sold out. They only had three pieces left because it's not, It's right now 11, 11 a.m. actually. That's pretty late. It's almost lunchtime. And um, yeah, because they have so many customers. So that's how popular they are here in the Manila City. And um, yeah, but it really depends on the day if there's a lot of customers because sometimes 
the customers are little and we're still able to buy a fair few in the afternoon. So I got a slice, um, kind of already bit into it, but as you can see, it's like super soft inside, like it's like a sponge cake almost. Um, it's wheat, it's actually wheat, wheat bread, it's made out of wheat, so it's kind of healthy, it's actually really healthy, and it's really good, especially if it's warm, if you come early and it's still warm. You don't need any spread, peanut butter or like anything to make it better but i'm not saying it's not i'm not saying it's not good if they're spread it's good alone and if they're spread it's puto oh, 50 pesos thank you And one more for 50 pesos. Nice. <laughs> so this is the ensaimada with some butter and sugar on top. And this is their wheat pandesal, really good and healthy. Go try it out. And finally, this is like a big version of the pandesal. It's like a big loaf and then it's like sliced into tinier pieces. So this is the puto kalasiao and kutsinta. This wasn't actually part of the plan. We just decided to buy some on the way home and it was good. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check them out on um, Panda Americana. They have a Facebook page. And yeah, that's it. Bye!